Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, I posted a video letting you know that I finally got Windows 11's new larger clock with seconds and some other 25H2 features which seem to have arrived early for time and date. And I showed you how you could enable this. I'll leave the video linked if you would be interested. Now, something else I only spotted today was if we just head down below to the actual calendar. The calendar is in a split format now. So we've kind of got the leftover days of September, which are the more grayed out dates and days. And then we move into October. And if we head back, there's no September. We head back right to August. And if we move forward, the same applies. We get the final days of October moving into November. So I thought this was interesting because previously, as you may well know, if we were in September, we would get the whole of September featured in the calendar. And if you went to the next month, you would get the whole of that next month, where now it's in a split format with the leftover days moving into the first days of the following month. And I found this interesting because even after a restart, and I even restarted Explorer.exe, which is the shell the taskbar the start menu and so on which i'm not going to do now because it'll crash my screen recorder after doing that i would open up the calendar and it would be the old so-called older format with the solid month the whole month being featured and then after a couple of attempts at opening and closing it would then revert back to the so-called new look the split look and this is very similar to what we get over on Chrome OS on a Chromebook. They follow the same format, but you just don't get the days that look grayed out. Um, it's a very similar um, kind of concept. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or if this is something that the new option to enable the larger clock with seconds in the flyout has introduced. Because even if you disable this larger clock, it still appears like this. Because I prefer to actually have August, September, October, not missing the actual September entry. I think this just makes things a little bit more confusing. Let me know what you think. Be interested to see if you guys think it's a bug or not. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.